The following diagram shows a practical example of how a simple IRS 2453 H-bridge inverter circuit can be converted into a sine wave H-bridge inverter circuit. The left side consists of two IC stages, IC555 a stable stage and an op amp IC741 comparator stage. The comparator op amp 741 or any standard op amp performs the main function of an SPWM generator. It is rigged as a comparator to compare a couple of triangle waves fed across its inverting input pin 2 and the non-inverting input pin 3. The non-inverting input pin 3 is fed with slow triangle waves, while the inverting input pin 2 receives a relatively fast triangle wave supply. The op amp compares the two input exponential waveforms, which results in the generation of the corresponding sets of SPWM waveforms at its output pin 6. The slow triangle waves are derived directly from the inverter's existing H-bridge oscillator IC across its timing capacitor CT. This CT timing capacitor is available in all inverter designs regardless of the topology. The slow triangle waveform across the CT pin of the inverter IC actually determines the output 50 Hz or the 60 Hz frequency of the inverter. Therefore, by using this waveform as this slow triangle waves, we get two advantages. Firstly, it helps to carve out the intended SPWMs, and secondly, it perfectly synchronizes the SPWM with the main inverter frequency, enabling the inverter output scene waveform to be precisely in sync with the 50 Hz, 60 Hz on-off timing. The fast triangle waves are extracted from across the timing capacitor of the IC555 Astable C2. The fast triangle waves decide the frequency of each SPWM waveform, which must not exceed 300 Hz if the inverter transformer is an iron core transformer. If the transformer is a ferret core transformer, then you can increase the fast triangle wave frequency to any higher limit as suitable. Higher the frequency of the SPWM, higher will be the efficiency of the output sine wave. The presets P1, P2 can be used to tweak the SPWM so that it replicates an output sine waveform as close as possible to an original sinusoidal waveform. The SPWM output waveform from the op amp IC741 is finally applied to the gates of the low-side H-bridge MOSFETs via individual 1N4148 diodes. You can see in the diagram the 1N4148 diodes are reverse-biased, meaning the chopping of the 50 Hz or the 60 Hz waveform at the MOSFET gates will be only through the negative pulses of the SPWM. The positive pulses have no effect. This configuration will allow the low MOSFETs to switch exactly as per the switching of the SPWM waveform from the IC741 output, generating the required sine wave AC output for the connected load. In this way, any ordinary H-bridge inverter circuit can be transformed into a pure sine wave H-bridge inverter circuit. I hope you liked this tutorial regarding the easy conversion of any H-bridge inverter into a sine wave H-bridge inverter. For any further questions or doubts, please feel free to comment under the post. The link of the article is given in the description below. Thanks for watching.